We are rolling and you are ready. Oh, okay. How many of you like to be disrespected, especially by children? None of you. Okay. Disrespect is one of the biggest things in our society that is, is rising. And it's all because it starts off with the children. Because if you're taught to not be respectful of your elders or anyone, you're going to grow up to be disrespectful. I am Jennifer Nagy, and that is one of my biggest pet peeves is when people are disrespecting me. And it's on the rise. According to Nett Hemingway's claim, she did a study, and she concluded that since Mary Haywood Metz's observation in the 60s, which she went to the classrooms and observed that disrespect is on the rise, she's concluded that teachers in the classrooms are dealing with students who are rude, using profanity, or otherwise switching over to blatantly disrespectful disrespectful expressions of incivility. I am a camp counselor. I watch students, one, hit their parents, yell at their parents, and just automatically are disrespectful not only to them, but to their peers. I have also have been at the receiving end of the disrespect. A quick story, I was talking to a father, and a kid was pulling at my shorts, trying to ask for a ball. I told the kid to wait, and the next thing I know, my pants or at my knees. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the disrespect. <laughs> what, where is disrespect? It's in the classrooms, it's in the workplace, it's in public. How many of you have been to movie theaters and had people talk through the entire movie? A lot of you. And it also has leaked into athletics. Oops. Okay. What are the causes of disrespect? One of them is the media. Why? Because when you're disrespectful, it creates controversy. And controversy leads to money, at least in the movies. Kids watch it. That's what they do these days. Most of them sit in front of TVs or video games, no offense. But they learn they're not being taught respect. Another form is the big people. I don't mean adults. I mean the older students. They watch. Constantly in camp, we have to remind the older students or campers, that the little ones are watching. They will follow. If a kid is being disrespectful, the younger ones will do the same. <laughs> Point in case. No kid does that on their own. That, is, that just shows you that kids watch. Because I'm pretty sure when I was little, I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> so another cause is being different. Physical characteristics. Their backgrounds, age, gender, their intelligence, and personal beliefs. Personal beliefs is more when you get to the high school level. Whether it's in drugs, smoking, sex, you can get teased, be disrespected for any of these. So what do we do? Show respect to give respect. Most of you will either be teachers, and if you're not going to be a teacher, you're probably going to be a parent, if you're not either one of them, you're still going to be in contact with kids. So what do we do? Mark Peransky says, we are all learners, we are all teachers. This means to show the kids respect, let them know that you can learn from them, because you do. This shows that once you give them respect, they will realize, oh, you respect them, I can respect you. Another form of way to show them respect is set aside, whether in your classroom or at home, a free time to let the kids speak their voices, but also give them time to understand and like accept different ideas. Well, okay. what's in it for you? Teachers, you all, or if you've worked with kids or anyone, you know when somebody's bringing disrespectful to you, you don't really want to work with them no more. So when you teach the kids to be respectful, it's going to make your life a lot easier and more pleasurable as if you're a teacher. Also, work, if you're not going to be a teacher, the students or the kids are going to end up being working with you as you get older. Because I can guarantee you, the students or the campers that I'm working with are one day going to work with one of you probably. And you're not going to want to be disrespected. And then publicly, we all know disrespect happens. If there's less disrespect, it's more enjoyable to go out to the movies or to just go to the park. So all we need to do is teach our younger ones to be respectful. And it will lead to a more respectful, more peaceful life for ourselves. 
it's your choice whether you teach them to be respectful or not. Because it's ultimately up to you whether or not you want disrespect in your life or if you want respect. Wah, go. Or not. There you go.